This is Hilary from Aquafortis Astrology, and this is the traditional astrology forecast for the week that starts from the 25th of November to the 1st of December 2019. After kissing Jupiter and Sagittarius on the cheek, Venus enters the house of Capricorn on the 26th of November 2019 at 01.28 UTC plus 1. Venus loves being in Capricorn. Capricorn being an Earth sign, can offer Venus all the comfort she wants. Yes, I know, it is the house of Saturn, but Saturn has a soft spot for Venus, and he willingly gives her what she needs. Venus in Capricorn doesn't do frivolous, and is quite traditional in her tastes. When she moves about, she does it with authority, and with a stiff upper lip. Don't worry, if you prove to be worthy in the long term, you will earn her favors. But it's long term. Venus will not be alone in the house of Capricorn. She finds there awaiting the lunar nodes, Saturn and Pluto. That is our dear old demolition team we now all know well. Venus will try to bring some healing balm to a war zone. However, as soon as she enters Capricorn, she starts a non-stop talking with the lunar nodes. Pay attention who you meet and which events happen in the next couple of weeks because they form part of the Cancer Capricorn Eclipse story. Always on the 26th of November 2019 at 15.05 UTC plus 1, we have a dark moon at 4 degrees of Sagittarius. The moon is not talking to anyone except the sun. Neither Jupiter and Sagittarius, the planet taking care of this nation, is talking to anyone. This is going to be the last dark moon in Sagittarius before Jupiter leaves his house to enter Capricorn on the 2nd of December 2019. This dark moon feels like a bit like wrapping up all of the Jupiter and Sagittarius year we had and we are now finishing. It would be a good time to look back at what we have achieved. What were our dreams and hopes this time last year? How many have we managed to ha make happen? And how many for now will remain dreams? Now it is time to look at it all. Take it all in. It might have been what you have expected as much as it wasn't. Then take a glass of wine to drink to your health and the health of your dreams. Then choose with goodness of Jupiter and Sagittarius will be worth taking with you for the next Jupiter cycle. The next Jupiter cycle is less exuberant and more practical. So take time to choose which things you would like to take with you on your backpack, which are only a certain amount you can take on your back. So to help you choose, think prudent, practical and efficient. Then as the dark moon changes to the crescent moon in Sagittarius around the 27th of November 2019, plant your seeds. On the 27th of November 2019 at 13.32 UTC plus 1, Neptune stations at 15 degrees of Pisces to eventually start moving forward. Eventually, it's the word, the key word. Neptune has gone retrograde on the 22nd of June 2019 at 18 degrees of Pisces. If you have planets or sensitive points between 15 to 18 degrees, you are in the last part of Neptune's fog that has been going on for quite some time now. For the rest of us, is business as usual, thank goodness. On the 28th of November 2019, at 10.51 UTC plus 1, Mercury in Scorpio, now direct, has a final encounter with Neptune in Pisces. This is the last of three encounters that Mercury had with Neptune. They met on the 15th of October, 13th of November, and now on the 28th of November 2019. Something we have been investigating on, to cut on a fantasy ride. Probably we won't have taken this ride if it wasn't for Neptune's gifts for illusion. But perhaps it was the only way for us to find the key to a hidden door. Always on the 28th of November 2019, at 1927 UTC plus 1, Venus in Capricorn gets a nudge from Uranus in Taurus. Venus in Capricorn is all about tradition and status quo, 
But her long-standing tenant, Uranus and Taurus, thinks otherwise. As much as the talk between the two is on friendly terms, what Uranus is asking of Venus is completely contrary to what she values. There is something about how we bring things together that needs to change. Uranus is reminding us that even certain unshakable values can in the long run change. We are being asked to look at what we cherish from a completely different point of view. It might need practice, but turning our personal world upside down when not in crisis mode can help pave the way to constructive change with not much pain. On the 30th of November 2019 at 07.12 UTC plus 1, we have Mercury in Scorpio that makes it its last pit stop with Saturn and Capricorn. Like with Neptune's story, this is the last of three stops. The other meetings were on the 14th of October, 13th of November, and now 30th of November 2019. Whilst Neptune took Mercury on a wild fantasy ride investigating dragons that perhaps didn't exist, Saturn has been trying to keep Mercury attached to the real world, at least a part of Mercury. At the end of the day, as always, Saturn will help us make sense of that key and the hidden door we have found. What this might mean is that during this last month and a half we have experienced and experimented with several new and perhaps very old things. Some have yielded good results, while others will just remain pies in the sky. But we could have never have known which would have worked out or not only if we went through the whole process. And there was no way we were going to cut the process short. So let's summarize. The one year and a bit transit of Jupiter and Sagittarius is coming to an end, and this dark moon is helping us to look back, tie up the strings we need to do, and prepare for the journey ahead. Venus and Capricorn will bring some respite to that part of our life that is being butchered by the extreme demolition squad. Pay attention to whom you encounter and events that happen. They inform part of a larger story and are bringing some first aid. Should you need any guidance of how to navigate these energies, I'm available for private consultations. Before you go, let me know what you think. Thumbs up, share and subscribe to my page. Bye for now and good luck!